everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and we are back with another Twitter thread. This is our 100th Twitter thread. 100 Twitter threads. Exhausting just to think about. How can we read 100 Twitter threads? The thought of all those Twitter threads makes me weak. And thank you to Dyer for breaking her vow of silence for this momentous occasion. So I am happy to say that after our two years of doing this week in, week out, we have finally run out of questions. I've long maligned the fact that prior to good posters like myself and... I don't know, Jaxel? Entering Yu-Gi-Oh! Twitter, every single Yu-Gi-Oh! post looked like this. What is your favorite? Hashtag Synchro Monster. Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh! Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. So today we're throwing in the towel and asking the hard questions. Mine is the Stardust Dragon. And look at this beautiful picture that I found online. No, Stardust is just iconic. It's crazy that this card is powerful for like almost a decade. They really knocked it out of the park with this character's ace. And I'm just so happy that it saw so much play for so long. Let's see what you all think is better. Kui Belt. I love this fucking guy. He's a common. He's a cool dragon. He has an interesting effect. He feels like a knockoff Sina dragon. If he existed back in 5Ds, he would have been every kid's boss monster in their playground deck. I love him for that. I do appreciate that they're still printing cards that look like they came out in 2010. And the number one reason why Kui Belt is fantastic, he has the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Orbs! It was so awesome back when Obedience School first came out and it was using stuff like Reckless Veiler Mid-Chain to help manipulate your hand size as an interrupt. A bit more recently, I've seen it with the Runic cards, which I love to see. God, what a cool card. Fabled Runic is off and on rogue playable right now. Would it shock you to know that this card is the cornerstone to one of the winningest Tengu plant decks right now? Fabled Unicorn is just such a funny card. Negate at resolution is just such a wonderful effect, and I can't believe they put it on a card this playable. Meow says, it has to be this enigma of a synchro monster. The only legally playable prize card that has never received a reprint. Wait, this guy was in the show and they called him something else? I summon forth the synchro monster, Crimson Mephist! Oh. One of my absolute favorite decks from my high school days, Karakuri, felt like the deck I played the most in Yu-Gi-Oh! It also helped that I had an ultimate rare copy I pulled. Beret specifically just shows up every so often, and I'm always like, oh, God, this guy's still around. He's never been used for anything fair, but he's always been used for something incredible. I love Ice Jade Gimmer A Grind. I love watching Runic player scoop when I chain her to Fountain and banish it. Folks, the Gims always wins. Not only my favorite Synchro Monster, but my favorite card in general. I even got an OC drawn as him. <laughs> That's, this is dedication. Holy shit. Take him to the deep beyond. I appreciate you cut the thumb off here so as to not interfere with his glorious visage. You know, I remember back when I was building that Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon Turbo deck in which I used Aurorodon not as a setup play in another series of cards like Eldritch, but as like the focal point of a deck. I was playing this card because it had seven access. And every time it came up, I was like, this card's crazy. Like, why is no one playing this shit? My favorite part about Every was playing her in Duel Links in a deck that wasn't Fortune Lady. Uh, so if you haven't played Duel Links, you probably don't know this, but this card was DPE in that format for like months. The Black Rose Dragons, they are beautifully drawn. Their effects gave them time in the sun for years. Moonlight even saw some use in Control Blue Eyes to summon Crystal Wing off of Spirit Dragon's effect. Yes, it was a very popular play, but um, really funny. I just unprivated all my old 10 minute testings from back in the day. And the first one I watched is up against an opponent who like uses Synchron monsters to summon this card and pass. It's like, wow. Yu-Gi-Oh! players will stop at nothing to play my anime boss. Gotta be my boy Shien. Playing Six Samurai post Storm of Ragnarok was a trip. Shien is a really cool card to be behind. Not a great card to be in front of. Have to pay homage to one of the best extra deck monsters of all time in both Duel Links and the TCG. You know the crazy thing about Bryo is that he is still not bad. I was playing a deck that just incidentally had six access recently, and I was thinking, I was like, well, what if I just jam Bryo in here? Dream! Only the DT04 version. Correct! You know this card comes in maximum coal. <laughs> Who's out here playing Mago Trish? I saw Bonds Beyond Time in theaters with my best friend when we were nine, and I've been in love with the Malefic archetype ever since, man. Nine when BBT came out? Mm 
I don't even remember 9-11. Another individual who has made self-ship art with a synchro monster. If I had a nickel, I would have a nickel, which isn't a lot, but it's a nickel. When I was younger, no one knew how to buy cards. So all I had was a beat the hell up RDA an older kid gave to me that was taped together to the point where the entire card was covered in tape. I just have memories of it as the only synchro I had. You know, in terms of the only synchro you had, RDA, it ain't bad. It may have had to go, but damn if this wasn't a good one. Chaos Ruler was far and away <laughs> the most broken synchro monster they have ever printed. And the worst part about this card is that he was so goddamn fun to play. The more I've grinded Edison, the more Thought Ruler found itself in every deck I play that can make it. It's weird. Thought Ruler was good and was sort of canonized as one of the first of a wave of good synchro monsters, but it always felt like it took a backseat to Stardust. As targeting removal has become more prevalent in formats like Edison, sometimes I'm just making this. I'm just going in. Crystal Wing, my beloved. On release, it fixed every issue OG Clear Wing had. It was ran all over the place with the Wind Witch package, and then they released Warload Dragon. Sword Soul being my favorite deck makes it easy to like Big Chungus, but the fact that it necessitates running varying forms of removal or playing around Banish effects when they could have just plastered a negate on it and called it a day makes me love him even more. Drill Warrior the goat to this day. Junk Archer also a goat, but Drill Warrior the goat. Smugly slapping this guy down against someone who has no outs is an unbeatable feeling, especially against Master Duel players who don't read cards. It is just so enjoyable to be able to play a long game against an opponent that goes back and forth for what feels like years, only to be like, and now, with the last remaining monsters on my field, pep in the battle phase for 15 billion attack. Aliens is my main deck for Edison. I love summoning Golgar, looping Code A, Swords, Fiendish Chain, popping cards pretty much for free, and that Golgar can just casually run over Stardust for no reason. Uh, unfortunately, it's not enough. They need it. My beloved Cataster. How many years have I been summoning Cataster? Shen Shen is such a nice card. Do you understand how fun you have to make a card for me to enjoy playing against Macro Cosmos? It's beautiful. It looks great in secret. The effect is incredible. Just takes over the game immediately. I just love him. I just love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. This is, whoa. Cannot beat the original power tool dragon. He is my friend. Buddy, you got to take better care of your friends here. Nah, I will say sometimes you see a card like this and you just think that is a well-loved piece of cardboard. Thank you all so much for a hundred amazing Twitter threads. I promise from here on out, they're only going to get worse. Great hashtag question of the week, Joseph. Personally, I like Stardust, but Junk Warrior is the way cooler you say monster. Like this post if you're a 5Ds fan. Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh, hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh TCG, hashtag anime. You got it.